still coming. They're going to be coming all week. We have more advanced students arriving tonight, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So by Friday, the whole family will be here from around the world. And uh, we started with the open category today. So I don't know if most of you were here earlier, but I saw a few favorites already of my own. And I'm very, very happy to have brought um, some of my favorite artists and uh, colleagues to Missoula and people that I've never met before through this unique opportunity with um, the Vienna International Ballet Experience and Gregor Hatala. And we want to welcome you to the very first ever, not just Montana, um, Vienna International Ballet Experience with the USA premiere. And um, our Governor Bullock is here to say hello to the dancers and some of the special guests that have come from an extraordinary visit of long distance. And we're in residence here Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before we move down to the Wilma on Saturday. And so we're very grateful that Provost Perry Brown is here to offer a few remarks officially on behalf of the University of Montana. So here he is. Well, good afternoon, and welcome to the University of Montana. We are pleased to welcome Governor Bullock here, who you'll see in just a couple of minutes. And we're most appreciative and, and uh, feel very good about welcoming our visitors from around the world. We're really happy to have you here and we're very pleased to be able to partake of the uh, performances that you're going to be engaged in over the next few days. We're excited to be a part of the Vienna International Ballet Experience and we're excited that our Mansfield Center on Friday will be hosting the Art of Diplomacy conversation. That'll be as part of this event. So we're looking forward to the many performances that are to come. We're excited about it. We want to see everybody have a wonderful time. You have come to a community that loves the arts. There's no question about that in all of its forms. It's one of the great college towns in the United States. It's a college town that does, as I say, love the arts. And we look forward to the next four days and the events that will occur and the performance that will occur and I say again, welcome, please enjoy, and have fun in Missoula, Montana. Thank you. Governor Bullock is here. Let's give him a warm welcome. Thanks so much, Charlene. And on behalf of the state, Montana truly is honored to be the first U.S. host of the Vienna International Ballet Experience. And on behalf of the state, thanks to all of our distinguished guests who traveled from near and far, and indeed many across the world, to join us and join all of you over this next few days. For our international guests, the dancers, filmmakers, international diplomats, thought leaders, policy makers, and others that may not be that familiar with Montana, I'd like to take a few moments to tell you a little bit about this place that we call home. Montana is a vast and varied state of mountains, canyons, river valleys, forests, grassy plains, badlands, and caverns, making it rich in beauty and resources. We are known as much for our rugged strength as we are for our natural beauty, making this the perfect location for such a prestigious dance competition, where you'll celebrate a form and form that so perfectly marries extraordinary strength and athleticism with art, beauty, and grace. We're known as the Big Sky Country covering an area of more than 147,000 square miles, making it the fourth largest state in the, in the United States. I had an opportunity a few months ago to travel to uh, Korea, the Republic of Korea, and I saw that a Miss Kim is part of the international jury. Recognize if you're in South Korea, you can fit four South Koreas in the state of Montana 
alone and still have a little bit of room. As I grew up in this place that I call home, I never took for granted the spectacular wide open spaces that make this state one of the most and truly last unspoiled places on this earth. It remains a place where you can walk for miles and see more wildlife than people. Our world class rivers, our majestic mountains, our rolling plains, our valued treasures, where locals and guests can enjoy limitless opportunities to hunt, fish, hike, and enjoy the great outdoors. But we're also a vibrant cultural center that supports the arts, from creative writing and poetry to acting and dance. Many of the names in the ballet world, Chautauqua and Mariah Sasha Khan, or Patrick Hawkins from Lewistown, certainly you may know are from Montana, but so much more as well. For those of us, or for those that are more contemporary, J.K. Simmons, an author who was actually raised right here in this town, went to the school. Norman McLean of A River Runs Through It. Jeffrey Amen from Nirvana. Evelyn Cameron, a photographer. All of them were grounded and imbued by all Montana has to offer and shaped who and what they are today. But the arts aren't just integral to our culture. I think they're really also vital vitally important to our state economy. I spent talking time speaking to the CEO about Montana, and often what they're asking about is the same thing that each and every one of you are engaged in. If I move my company here, if I have employees here, what sort of opportunities will there be not only educationally, but culturally? They provide direct economic benefits to our communities, the arts and culture, it creates jobs, attracts investment, generates tax revenues, and stimulates local economies. As we get ready to begin the competitions, I'd certainly like to thank the Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater, particularly Charlene, for, their, for the theater's company's remarkable work and endless efforts in organizing and planning, hosting this prestigious international competition. Indeed, I know of um, many both ballet ballerinas, ballet students, and others from my hometown of Helena, and Billings, and folks from all over the state have come here to be a part of this. And it's wonderful the work the Rocky Mountain Ballet has done in preparation for nearly 20 years. Rocky Mountain Ballet has indeed taken Montana around the world, and now for the very first time they're bringing the world to Montana. Through their work, they're demonstrating to the global arts community the rich traditions of the Montana Arts and Cultural Center. Charlene described this event as a full circle moment for her personally and for the Montana arts community. I'm proud of the work that Montana is doing to reciprocate all of the warmth and hospitality that we as Montanans, no matter where you're schooling, no matter where you're dancing, as you see that, indeed, across the world. I hope all of you who have come from around the corners of our nation and the world also feel truly welcome over these next few days while you're here. Good luck to all the competitors today and throughout. Special good luck to all the dancers from Montana competing, a lot of folks um, not only in this community, but indeed around the state cheering you on. So once again, welcome to Montana. Thank you for being here. I do hope that everybody enjoys this truly once in a lifetime opportunity to, to, to view and be part of the caliber of the dance competition that will be happening right here over the next few days. Thanks again so much for having me.
not be able to take the arts home, but at least I brought you uh, a cake from Austria. <laughs> admit that uh, my education in ballet was really helpful because the day I arrived I was really jet lagged and I was so hungry at night and there was this big bit of temptation to just grab a bite of the cake. <laughs> but I, I uh, withstood and uh, so it's all yours and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again for being here. Wie geht's ich spreche nur ein bisschen Deutsch mit zwei Jahren in meinem Hochschule. For those of you that aren't cultured, <laughs> that means I took two years of German while in high school. <laughs> but, but indeed, um, thank you so much, but also want to, in addition to hopefully all that you experienced, I have mentioned some of the sort of people in arts and culture that were raised in Montana, but Another that we're very proud of is one of the most famous Western artists indeed in the world, and it's uh, Charlie Russell. So in exchange for the cake, which I will treat so well, I want to provide you, it's uh, a book about Montana's Charlie Russell. And especially in the past year with our trip to China, I feel like I'm, I'm always two weeks ahead of Governor Bullock or two weeks so we're going to just show him a very brief sampling of a couple things I saw this afternoon and um, a snippet of Montana. And then we'd like to invite the jury to come up to meet um, Governor Bullock as well. So speaking of China, we never leave without our Native Americans. And so this is Louis Plant.
away. Um, they just arrived last night from Korea. I haven't even had a chance to see them in class yet, but here they are.